Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118, and in this episode, I think I know what we're going to do today. Well, before we get into that absolute insanity, there's some gear stuff that we should probably take care of, starting with the loot mauler. Last episode, I asked you guys, why wasn't it working? Was it a bug? Um, well, yeah, no, it's not. I just, I didn't enchant it. <clears throat> yeah, uh, moving on from that. And next up on the docket, we have a ton of loot to roll. Swords, axes, chest pieces, pants, boots, got some, these, what is it, Omega, 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 and this really cool idol. So, um, uh, it's a lot of stuff to roll, and I don't think I'm really going to do it on, like, camera, or, like, on video or whatnot. Let's see, we've got hundreds, hundreds of focuses. I bet I've got more in here. Hold on, let me check. Oh my gosh, yes. Hundreds and hundreds, thousands, I guess, of focuses to roll our loot to our heart's content. So, uh, Editor Joseph, go go do something flashy while I take care of this. Okay, I think that went well. I mean, I, there is some unfortunate stuff, lost some unfortunate rolls, but I, th I think it's good. Uh, this sword... I just can't get better than this one. Uh, this is a really good sword. Um, yeah, I I rolled this on it, but it's I need to put fundamentals into it, and it's basically the same sword. I guess if I could get a higher damage on this, right? Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what? Talking it out. Let's see. Can we get a higher base damage on this? No, we can't. Okay. So it's garbage. And there goes the fundamental focuses, which I crafted more of. Uh, because of the shield. The shield was a pain. Uh, unfortunately, we, just, we tanked the crafting potential on the Omegas. Couldn't get him good. Couldn't get him better than this. Yeah, it was really unfortunate. So, that's a little sad. So, both of these are being scrapped. Two Omegas scrapped right there. The rest of the stuff, though, I think rolled pretty good. This is a great idol for mana. This does a lot of damage. Like a ton of damage. It's a little bit faster and has cleaving... But it's not, like, super-duper fast, but I still want to see it, you know? The shield is just really good. I mean, it's just a good shield. Resistance, health, poison avoidance, knockback resistance. It's a good shield. It does less health than this guy and less block chance, but it's got so much more. The boots we already knew were going to be better, and the chest plate, it took a lot of finagling. But I think it's better. I know we lose a lot of damage, but the resistance, the cooldown reduction, the item quantity... I like it more. Well, we're looking a little strange, but we're all enchanted up. Let's see what our stats are. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Defense is 87% now, which is up. Uh, with the axe, and the damage goes down a lot. I just don't think an axe is going to be better than a sword in this pack. I'm not sure, though. Well, we can definitely try it. We can definitely try it. I am liking that we have 27 resistance. That feels pretty good. Okay, with all that silliness out of the way, it is high time that we get this Chaos Catalyst on a crystal. I've crafted a few up. I'm very excited for this. I did not think that we were going to be able to uh, do this crystal because Chaos Catalysts are usually only found in treasure rooms. And, well, we didn't find any in treasure rooms. Um, literally have no idea what to expect. You saw... The uh, only modifier on it is chaos. I'm very excited. What do you guys? What, what do these random cats think? Yeah, excited. Okay. Well, I'm nervous, so I'm stalling. I'm not bringing our magnet. Oh, not a magnet. I'm not bringing our trinket in. Of course, I'm bringing a magnet because, uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm nervous that we're just gonna die. Uh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, three times haunted, three times rapid mods, we got one time bonus living, six bonus or eight, seven wild, one opulent, one lucky, oh, we get a frail, of course, three furious, two chunky mob, three bonus gilded, and two accustomed, um, oh, I never respect hunter, uh, I have living, it, I'm sorry, does it say skeleton bone shards are coming out of ores up there? Wow, what is what is seven wild gonna? Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Um, let's see. Does the axe hold up? No, absolutely not. The axe is terrible con compared to a sword. Stop it! 
I can't even get my sword out because these guys are... Jeez, this is going to be tough. Okay. Um, yeah, Axe, you are terrible. You're garbage. Get out of here. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh... Wow, complete this. I should at least be able to use the loot mauler now. Whoa. Whoa, my gosh, there are so many of these guys. Stop with the lag. I'm not into it. <laughs> I'm not into that. There we go. Thank you guys for your help. See, isn't that satisfying? Oh my gosh, there's more. I suppose at least we didn't get draining so that, you know, all of our, uh, what do you call it? All of our uh, mana comes back pretty fast, which is nice. Oh. Okay, just now it's not working. Do I have mining fatigue? No, no, I don't. Okay, that was odd. Um, man, I, I sh Okay, it's working on that. Okay, that was weird. Maybe there's like a little bug. Whoa! Whoa, look at the guy with the bunny hat on. He's moving so fast. It's like the, the mask from Majora's Mask, the bunny hood. Oh my gosh. Wow, seven wild, I feel like is really unlo- I thought they made wild less common. Oh man. I suppose this is as good a vault of any to test out all of our new gear on. I mean, if our gear can make it through this vault, it can make it through any. Now our bounty is to find a bunch of rip pages. Was there a- was that a book? What? Is that like a new scavenger item? Oh, I think I heard that they added some new scavenger items. That's cool. Very nice. Um, so we need to find ripped pages. I'll be focusing on that slightly. And two swords already? Okay, I'm getting my bearings about this. Um, it seems like the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be initially entering into the room when there is a large amount of wild mobs and i didn't mean to summon many me but i have noticed there there is a dungeon here um i wonder if it'll have the special uh altar in it that'd be really cool doesn't look like it though is mini me affected by chunky mobs is that why they have so much health also i'm not seeing the altar but i am seeing a large amount of wooden chests so maybe that'll help us out with uh our bounty. Gosh, I'm so, I'm so nervous. I can't even, like, talk right. This is insane. Okay, so here are ores, which... Oh my gosh, is that a... No way. That's a treasure door. That's the one we need. That's... That's ridiculous. What a ridiculous vault. So, I suppose we'll get skeleton soul shards out of these? I... I... Oh! Rib cage. Is that from the ores? I have no idea. I haven't the slightest clue. Hmm. Very odd. I feel like skeleton bone shards don't come out of ores, though, because, like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Oh, good. Here's some coin piles. We need those. I, I mean, I guess I'll do the treasure room, right? Like, why not? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What a vault so far. What a vault. Just gonna... Yeah. Simple as that. Okay, let's see. What do we get here? Uh, oh, not bad. An epic helmet. We, we need a new helmet. I'm just, uh, I'm a little shocked, I guess. Let's uh, pop open the treasure sand. I'm hoping for a lost bounty. That'd be really nice. This can be really good. Nah, unfortunately, no bounty, but two echo gems. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, well, that's the that's the eighth treasure room of update eight. Wow, okay. Um, I suppose keep going? This is a terrifying vault. And I just realized, if skeleton bone shards really do still come from living chests, as I imagine, this actually is going to be an easy vault. We're already done with the ornates, obviously. Uh, oh my gosh. Come on. I want to complete this. Whoa, whoa. It's just that these guys are so fast. They deal so much damage. How's my armor looking? Yeah, we're going to be taking big damage today. I have a lot of levels of Unbreakable, which is going to be really nice for this vault because of the frail. But uh, so it looks like our biggest challenge is going to be the coin piles as well as the ripped pages. So okay, I'm going to see if I could like spawn these guys and then I'm just going to try to cheap them out. I'm going to just cheap. Nope. Nope. Messed that up. No cheap. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to be careful, though, not to run into a new room, because then I'll just spawn even more. Oh, wow. Chaining, not knocking back enemies around you is uh, becoming a problem. 
Hmm, you know, maybe while I'm in like these downtime moments where like the vault fighters have all kind of been taken care of, I should put on my super like cooldown reduction mana regeneration idol so that I could get some of my healing back up. Yeah, because this is 29% mana regen, additional mana, and 12% cooldown reduction. So that should help out with a lot of my modifiers, which is nice. Oh, the infinite water bucket. Yes, that's what I need to be using for seven times wild. I wasn't even thinking of that. Foolish of me. Okay, that should make this a lot more manageable. I am loving the loot mauler, by the way. Just walking around, just pointing and clicking at chests. Oh, it is nice. I'm glad that I have you guys to tell me when I am just being dumb. Because I, would, I wouldn't have figured that out. Just full transparency. I would not have figured that out. Yeah, old book. Scavenger item. That was a scavenger item from 116, wasn't it? I guess I edited it back. It was so popular. Okay, so this time around... Whoa! I'm gonna use the infinite water bucket. Yes! To keep the hundreds of uh, vault fighters at bay. Perfect. There we go. That's the strat. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got this vault. Alright, now it's just finding enough coin piles to complete. Oh my gosh. So, uh, this is, this is a chaos catalyst, everybody. Um, probably not a good idea to use them, because this vault is extremely hard, and it's a good thing that we have a bunch of new, uh, very powerful vault gear. Otherwise, I don't think I would be alive right now. I really gotta pick up my pace on the, uh, wooden chests, because we are very low on ripped pages. I feel like they need to reduce how many ripped pages you need to complete certain scavenger vaults, because 32 is a lot. Like, it's so much. Uh, th only three! Only three of the blood vials, too! That was very unlucky. Wow, we are getting horrible, horrible, horrible luck with our blood vials. That is awful. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Have at thee! Yeah! Hua! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like another set of wild. Oh wait, they're so fast because we have two times rapid mobs. No, three times rapid mods. That's right. All, all of our mobs are like super duper quick. That's horrible. Okay, there's our bounty at least, but that's only 14 of the 32 ripped pages, and we've been, whoops, getting awful, awful luck on the coin piles. I don't know, I really want to complete this, but, well, sucks that I forgot to respect my hunter. I always forget to respect my hunter. Oh my gosh, this is the fastest vault fighter I've ever seen in my life! Jeez, he like jumped over the fences! Ooh, that sounded lovely. I think this is like only like the third or fourth room we've done, and we're already at seven minutes in the vault. There's so many chests. But I think there's more vault fighters than there are chests, I'm gonna be honest. I really need coin piles. Oh, I think I see them. Yeah, 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 I see coin piles down there. We'd have to get really lucky, though, to get all the blood vials we need. And we'd still need a lot more of the uh, wooden chest. Whoa! I think that one just crit on me. I am so glad that I am not level 75 because I'd be getting tier 4 mobs in this vault if I was. And I don't think this would be possible with tier 4 mobs. I'm not going to lie. Uh, maybe we'll be completing the uh, Edona altar these guys are attached to. Yep, there it is. Still only halfway on the blood vials. No. I need a lot more coin piles to complete this. I am unfortunately thinking this will not be possible, which is very sad. Would have been super funny to complete it. Is this a dungeon or is this just a vault fighter stuck on the wall? Uh, coin pile dungeon, actually. Okay. Come on. Come on, blood vials. Ten. Perfect. Okay, how many rip pages do we have? Nineteen? Oh my gosh, we need to find... Uh, 13 ripped pages in four minutes. Yeah, probably not, but I can try. Uh-oh, here they come. Uh, I'm going to head back to the room in front of the exit, and we're going to see if I can maybe get into the ones next to it. I, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm trying. I don't think this is possible in, like, any, any way, shape, or form. Um, and then, oh, wait, I don't even have enough skeletons. You know what? I don't even have enough skeleton soul shards. Uh, you know what? I'd rather just get out of this vault with life. 
or skeleton soul shards, skeleton bone shards. Yeah, we certainly get enough purple mob essence, I can only imagine. Seven times wild! Ah, I could have done this if not for that. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, and right, the billion time chunky mob. I mean, six times or an eight. I enjoy, I enjoy a lot. Uh, <laughs> I won't deny it, chaos catalysts are fun. Uh, you probably shouldn't do them. I would not, I would not do your chaos catalyst, especially if you uh, don't want to have to spend some money on soul diffusing or uh, whatever it's called. All right, just give me out. Oh my God. Still 20,000 XP because of all the, uh, oh yeah, we got a treasure room. I forgot we opened a treasure room. <laughs> what a weird vault. Look at that. Look at that. A hundred and, what is that? 39 vault dwellers. My gosh. Okay, well that was 4,000 soul shards down the drain. Let's see what it got us. Whoa, okay, 24 vault diamonds. Okay, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Over a full stack of the vault dust, it seems. Very nice. Three whole inscription pieces. It's sad, they increased how much you need now, by the way. 462 carbon, okay, pretty good. Ooh, six bounty pearls, also very good. Uh, we completed a bounty as well, I should add. 36 knowledge, okay, okay, okay. How about what we got in the freaking uh, treasure room? Looks like it was one good coin affinity jewel and a bunch of just general stuff. And then I think there was more Valkyr we got out of that. Yeah. Oh, we got a full inscription. Ooh, an 11% completion for zero. That's nice. Uh, that's a sad looking jewel. Man, what is this? Zombie arms? What? This is crazy. Oh, yeah. Echo gems, pogs. Okay. So, so no, we did, we did pretty good for that vault. What is this? Skeleton rib cage. Where do you get this from? Where does this come from? Alrighty, well, I guess it's time we just roll up some Valk gear and open up that nice bounty crate we got. Let's see, any new transmogs today? No new transmogs. That is not a bad base roll for the helmet. I mean, I wonder what we could get with some focuses. Healing efficiency, that's sad. Get that out of here. Alright, try it again. Resistance. It's bad resistance. And there goes the one thing that made it good. What can I guarantee is a suffix? Hold on, let's let's take this guy, let's take this guy into the guarantee table. Okay, I don't want to get garbage. Oh, we can guarantee resistance. We can guarantee up to 14% damage. Hold on, hold on now. Let's do that. Let's guarantee damage on this guy. 10 to 14% damage. Beautiful, 12% increased damage. New helmet, new helmet. I like it a lot more than this. It's got more armor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more armor. Doesn't have resistance, but it's got more knockback resistance. It's got item rarity. It's got health. Uh, the durability is unfortunately not as good, but it's got way more repairs on it. I like this a lot. This is a full set except for the pants, shield, everything. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, the rest of the stuff is not so good, by the way. And you know what? Before I open up our uh, bounty, I got a request to make the demagnetizer and place that in the base so that we would not have to struggle with uh, our magnet sucking stuff up. So there we go. I guess I could just place it right there underneath and that should mean that the magnet no longer works in the base. Awesome. Okay, pouches put away, demagnetizer on. Yay, nice, simple little guy. Uh, oh yeah, we got some pants to roll. Let's see, what do we get here? Don't give me more Omega Pants, I don't need them. I thought that would like reverse psychology. All right, that's fine. Um, Actually, pretty good backups. Hey, remember when I said this? I think there's more Vault Fighters than there are chests, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, we looted 152 chests and killed 132 or 139 Vault Dwellers. So although there weren't more Vault Dwellers than there were chests, there were only 13 less Vault Dwellers then there were chests in the four rooms that we looted. Moral of the story, uh, Chaos Vaults are very aptly named.